Hey guys, this is Echo Soworks, and you are checking out a quick tip tutorial for Serum on the ADSR network. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the loop points in Serum's LFOs to create some really cool variances and kind of create some nice movement to your sounds. So if you don't know what a loop point is or an LFO, I'll gloss over this real quick. An LFO is a low frequency oscillator. It is a basically a signal that you use to modulate or bend or manipulate different sections of a synthesizer. It's such a low frequency, hence the name low frequency oscillator. Humans have, uh, we can't hear it. So you use it, a dubstep wobble, wub, 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 is an LFO modulating the cutoff usually of a, of a sound and you get wub, 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 wubbing. So that's a really basic crash course in LFOs, but now, you, now if you're an absolute basic uh, beginner user, you'll understand what an LFO is. Well, Serum's LFOs are super cool because you can create custom shapes. Uh, you can create typical shapes like sine curves, saw, saw signs, um, anything like that. You can also create, by double clicking, you can create completely custom shapes. So if you're a dubstep guy, a trap guy, this is really cool because say in a synth like Silent Hive or Massive, you couldn't get this shape with an LFO. This kind of falls into the MSEG category a multi-stage, multi-segment envelope. And you can use the LFOs as envelopes inside of Serum. And what's the difference between these different modes? Because I got to kind of talk about that for this set loop back point. Uh, let's look at the sound real quick, and I'm going to click on trigger. So what's going to happen, and this is like a big, nasty bass. <laughs> Every time I hit trigger, it's going to re-trigger and start at the beginning. And there's a little hot key here. If I arrow over this trig, it's going to restart the LFO. Envelope restarts the LFO. The LFO plays once like an envelope unless you command shift click an envelope point to become a loop back position. That's the key here. Um, the key is if we want a loop back point, we need to be in envelope mode. So you can see, and I'll zoom in on this, this little L right there. Uh, if I'm in trigger mode, it does not appear and here it is with the L. So let's actually try to create a loop point. So I'm going to select trigger. I'm going to right click or control click and we'll do set loop back point here. Nothing happened. Well, if you change this to envelope mode, you'll see that the loop point has appeared right there. And there is your loop. So what is a loop? What is a, a as it's called a loop back? What is loop back or a loop back point? Well, it's usually something you'll see in samplers. Take for instance, Native Instruments Contact. If you load in a sample, and you want that sample to be held out for longer than the duration of your sample. Maybe you sampled a guitar or a string or something for two or three seconds, and what happens when someone's playing in a slow tempo and they want to hold down a chord or a note for eight seconds? Well, what you would do is you'd loop, you'd create a loop back point in the sample, and that's kind of where the idea is most prominent, but being able to have it in a LFO is crazy. So let's look at this sound now with the trigger so are the mode set to envelope and we have a loop back point set right here and you can see that I am modulating 12 different destinations like the wave tail position and the cutoff among other things so if I play this you can see you can hear and see as I let up on my key this first section of it is kind of the acting as the envelope of the sound if I hold it down too long we start to get the actual LFO feel so I'm going to turn this down and kind of talk over it. So right now, as I hold it down, it's just playing the section that is my loop point. You can see that the line here indicating the playback in the LFO is not going back to the beginning. So let me turn this back up and I'll play something real quick. So you can get, almost get two different sounds out of the same sound. You can play the short. You know, you can play short notes and then kind of get the wobble or the feeling in there with that loop point. And again, all you have to do is right click in envelope mode and set loop back point there. And then you can remove the loop back point. So let's turn it back on. Now, a cool thing I like to do, our way I like to use it, is I like to use it in legato mode. So you can see here, if I start playing again, watch 
watch after I play a note or two and then go into the loopback point and then watch what happens when I play the next note after the first note that I started to use the loopback point. So we'll, here's the first one, short. And then here's loopback. Next note. Do you see how it went back to the beginning? Well, you can keep it in the loopback mode by playing it in legato mode. Watch. I'm just I'm just holding each key as I let up so I get that legato mode. All right, let's look at it in a different sound. Let's look at it with a pad sound. Uh, Cause this is, I like to use it a lot with pads. So again, make sure you're in envelope mode, right click, create a shape that you'd like, and then you can do your, your loop back point. So this is just gonna create some nice movement. So I will speed this up so it gets to it a little bit quicker and we will apply this a little bit more on the wavetail positions. All right, so that's too much on the cutoff, but let's actually just create some nice little, little variances with this. Just get some nice curve going, just a little bit of, you know, just some movement to the sound, because if it was a pad, it'd be nice. All right, so again, too much on the cutoff. cool because if you're holding out a long, you know, eight count chord or even a four count at slower tempos or halftime. It's not affecting the bulk of your sound. It's just going to, you can modulate things like even reverbs and effects with this, which is really cool. You can even do loop back points to kind of create this nice gated reverb sound or delays. There's a lot of freedom you can do with these loop back points and I wanted to mention them and talk about them because they are one of those you gotta control click to see what's happening there on the, or how to create them and also use the envelope mode. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.